Hi, we're Jack and Ramona, and welcome to our channel. We bought a house in Portugal last November. We are emigrating from the Netherlands to Portugal in January. Well, we have to do a lot of things to call it a farm, but we have the land. So just let's do this. <laughs> Good morning guys, uh, almost good afternoon. <laughs> so as you can see, we do have a tractor. And it looks all right on this side, but not on the other side. <laughs> Cause we are missing one big wheel, very big wheel. You see? So, Impossible to drive. Impossible, sorry, impossible to drive. So we have to wait on the repairman. Portuguese way, probably. It's like uh, two weeks already. So I hope it's uh, coming soon. And then we can do a lot of the land with a tractor. Well, Jack. Well, first we have to learn how to start this thing. But that will be alright. As you know, Jack is a diesel mechanic. Or if you don't know. So, he can repair stuff. So you probably can start that thing also. It's that thing. Maybe paint it black with flames on it. <laughs> okay, so. And the other car. So this one we bought, second, second hand, and the other 4x4 four four we bought too, came with the house, well, we had the option, so we did that, because uh, there are a lot of roads here, especially behind our house and the barn, you can drive all the way to there, but that's really a dirt road, so you need then 4x4, four four. and then you... Uh, come to the other village so that's nice to have just nice to have and it was a good price so we did it but the radiator is broken because the previous owner left his car but put it not on the brake handbrake I don't know in Dutch it's handbrake so we drove slowly because everything is downhill and drove against a yeah, tree, baby tree, but it broke the radiator. So now we're waiting on a new second hand radiator because the car is made in 97, I guess. So we have to find one online. The previ previous owner is fine, is searching for it, but otherwise we will. Because everything takes time in Portugal. <laughs> That's not an issue, we know that. But yeah, if we can try to locate it and be a little bit faster, then we can do more stuff. Because we're only with two persons to do the whole job. Look, this is the back land. We call it number seven. <laughs> we are numbering every part of the land so we know what we are talking about. And there's a rather nice uh, water dispenser. I'm sorry guys, I'm not familiar with the professional uh, English terms <laughs> for uh, farming. But let me show you. Because it's a nice thing. And that is what the previous owner also let here. So that's nice, of course. Look. That one. That's a good one, right? It's tall. And it's uh, metally secured by uh, concrete. And with a big pipe. As you can see, 
and that is also laying on the land it's right here so we can can connect everything and uh, we discovered well discovered not really but that part of the land is in a triangle with all the trees in the ground and it's going up that's also ours so maybe we'll build a tree hut tree hut hut tree tree hut yeah could be nice and then we rent it right <laughs> could be fun <laughs> a lot of sheep there because that's the the land it's connected to the land of the neighbors <laughs> yeah oh and we also discovered some older vines and fruit trees but it's all a surprise to us because yeah we do not recognize it but here's some old vines so this whole side is with old vines and fruit trees and a small olive tree <laughs> and some fix I think which in the back that's that one and more fruit trees and some grown old vines so I hope they will give us some grapes in the summer well in September of course not in the summer and then we can try to make some wine because that's why I'm here right <laughs> <laughs> so the water already sunk I think this is the normal level look so I think we should put a fence on it for the doggies because they think it's grass but it's not and it's probably very deep okay so that's it for this morning bye bye see you guys so we pruned all the big olive trees it's not so thick anymore so everything that went up we cut most of the parts and in the central of the tree we gave it some air because that is what YouTube said and what's on Google search <laughs> long live the internet so those are also pruned that one's pruned the small ones we didn't I don't like it it's a circle of five trees and they're all standing almost horizontally well that's not true but 45 degrees it's not pretty but okay that one's pruned that one's pruned too and the majestic back olive tree is also pruned and now we will do the smaller ones because we have a tree at the back of the barn that one and that very small one well it was cut back maybe last year or two years ago and there's also a very small one so we did a good job there is my ride, Mr. Jack. We're going to town. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Driving. <laughs> Taking some trees 
with you. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so fruit tree. Yeah. Again, from bro in the car. And some trees in the back. Two trees. Cherry, apple, another apple, uh, lime. Can stop working. Putting the lights in the ground. a little protector when we walk away. <laughs> she likes to cut and board to sit on. It's warmer. Mushrooms. But are those the edible ones? I 
threesome. So are these the edible ones, guys? Do you know? Let's do some nails, huh? doesn't like it anymore. Okay. <sighs> I'm furry too now. <laughs> well, don't do it often. And they always get a treat afterwards. So. And if it's really necessary, peanut butter on a fork. Because it's difficult to get everything, so they keep licking and they keep focusing on the peanut butter. I saw that also on YouTube. That works perfectly. Well, if there is another person around to do so, and then it's much quicker. But now it's done. So, that's it. Another job done on the farm. <laughs> See you guys. You got more tools? Ja. Nice. Toys. <laughs> Toys for boys. Ja. Since you are buying trees. Hmm. And I don't want to dig all the holes. Ah, oh, you're lazy. Ja. <laughs> no, I understand. Only on days that end with a Y. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm. they all end with a Y. Okay. <laughs> Smart ass. So. Let's do this. I hope you feel strong. Uh -huh. ah. You watch out for your feet mm -hmm. and your legs. Mm -hmm. I have steel. Because uh, it's very scary. Safety shoes. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Yeah. I get the trees.
That should do it. Oh. So these will be big laranjas, not the small ones like those in the back, but big ones, hopefully. Someday. <laughs> So, Mrs. Lime, hopefully. And Mrs. Laranja. Let you grow, let you grow, huh? Already worth his money. <laughs> it's very smart white t shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apple tree, apple tree. Oh, where do you want to be? Oui, oui. There is where you want to be. Ooh. So, is it so long? A very thick worm in it. <laughs> it was as big as my thumb. And another precious one with a beautiful red color and very sweet they said oh. a little bit crooked
cherry tree <laughs> Is this still going? Okay. Strong man. <laughs> so What are we doing? Making this a little bit sturdier. Better, sturdier. Okay. For now, temporarily. Yeah. Before we buy a real fence. Yeah. Okay. Just for now. Yeah, it's a bit wobbly. <coughs> Especially the door. <laughs> this is the door. Ooh. So it's wobbly. See what I need? You don't have it with you? No, I need a drill bit. Oh, uh, all the way to the barn? No, no, no. Okay, phew. <laughs> you should have the barn next to your house. <laughs> Hello, hello. Our road. Behind a house. Every three hours, one vehicle comes along, so maybe. It's not much. Neighbors. And people with the land over there and live on the other side in the village okay our house is not that big so where's Jack probably to the bathroom toilet the Dutch say toilet but the English say bathroom. I only go to the bathroom when I take a shower. Wow. Hear the silence. Only birds. It's echoing in the valley, so we can hear our neighbors talk all the way to here. Well, I'm shooting a root.
for now. Good enough. Yeah. That was it for today. <laughs> now we have a beer. <laughs>